is what is the ruling on wearing trousers below the ankles and uh, is the hadith authentic there are many authentic ahadith in this regard such as when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever trails his garment on the ground out of pride allah will not look at him this is one of the ahadith which uh, some of the jurists looked at with furthermore investigation and said there is like an effective cause they said with pride like if this is the effective cause then if the person is not doing this out of pride or if he's not doing it deliberately then he he's exempt from the uquba or the punishment uh, such as when the prophet sallallahu sallam exempt abu bakr siddiq because he was kind of thin and his izar would uh, drop below his ankles indeliberately he said you're not one of those who would make it out of pride but uh, most of the views in this regard are that the man, the Muslim male, should not wear his trousers beneath his ankle, trousers or garment or izar or anything. Because also Umar ibn Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, and during his, uh, uh, while he was approaching his end, he saw a young man was standing and his uh, izar was lower than his ankles. So he said, Irfa' izarak. Pick up your izar above the ankles. Because it is purer as far as the purity of the thawb or the garment. It would not come in contact with the impurities in the seat when you walk around. And rabbik is better as far as keeping your duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another hadith, which is collected by Bukhari wa Ahmad wa Nasa'i an Abi Hurayrat radiyallahu anhu, عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ما أسفل من الكعبين من الإزار في النار and this hadith is very clear crystal clear in explaining that one should not lower his garment beneath the ankles because the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said what goes beyond beneath the ankles is in fire uh, Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani may Allah have mercy on him said in his commentary on this hadith in his marvelous collection of Fath al-Bari Anything that goes beneath the ankles, this part will be in fire as a punishment for doing so. As I said, this is the mainstream view in this regard, and there are some scholars who said the effective cause was mentioned in the earlier hadith of Abu Dawood, and they said if the person was not doing this deliberately or out of pride, then he's exempt. The best is the person strictly follow the guidance of the Prophet ﷺ in this regard. As far as to the chin or to the shin, there are some ahadith in this regard which is recommended, but as long as it is not beneath the ankles, this is the person is not in violation of any prohibition.